one question I have, because I'm usually an editor and not on camera, is uh, you speak very effectively about the 10 qualities that you identify as key to enduring success. But in the process of uh, determining those 10, did you have some that you were considering and then said, nah, that one's not really important? Yes. Well, no, you know what I did was there were, there were other things that I think are equally important as the 10 that I, I um, identified, but what I tried to do was, was lump those in and, and, and find the right word to articulate everything. So, for example, I mean, my own life, I think what, what has been most critical for my own success has been hard work and this relentless um, drive to achieve um, something. And I, I think I, I tried to incorporate that into initiative. Mm -hmm. And I tried yep. to incorporate that, you know, into uh, endurance. And so, you know, hard work doesn't appear here, but hard work is certainly one of the critical yep. 10 laws of success. And I hope that it's incorporated and, and is uh, easy to understand that it's incorporated in the others. You know, um, and, and the other one is um, love what you do. I mean, one of the most important rules, I think, for anyone's success is to love what you do. And that comes across in many conversations. Jack Welch, you know, told me, look, you have to have that fire in your belly. You've got to have that passion in order to really do well because the only way you'll be able to work incredibly hard is if you love what you do. You know, and I always tell students today, don't go into a business because you think you're going to make a lot of money. Go into a business because you just love getting up in the morning. Um, Chris Gardner, who uh, was the subject of the, of the film, The Pursuit of Happiness, right. said to me, Maria, I have, you know, I, I may not have uh, the money that some of these other guys on Wall Street have, but I have one problem that they don't have, and that is every morning I wake up and I cannot get the smile off my face because I can't wait to get to the office because I love what I do so much. Again, that's incorporated into some of the other um, tenets here. I think one very important theme of the book I just want to mention is humility. Mm -hmm. And I just want to mention this because this is one of the laws that I talk about. We, in the book I say, hold on to your humanity. But the truth is it's really staying humble. And one thing that I have seen over and over in business, the easiest way to lose success is hubris. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so important for people who have gained some success to recognize that, sure, you did a good job, and sure, you have a very good skill set in whatever that may be, but you also were lucky. You got some luck along the way. And don't forget that. You know, don't believe your own press releases, mm -hmm. because it's really important to hold on to your humility. And a number of people that I've interviewed for this book are wildly successful, like Bill Gates, Bill Gates Sr., but they are very humble with their feet on the ground. And I just want to say that because I think that in an era of sense, enti sense of entitlement and you know, expectations that keep growing and growing, it's really important for successes, success stories, for successful people to recognize their humility and to keep it in check. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to talk Thank to you. you. You are a great much. company uh, in print and in person. And Maria's new book is the 10 Laws of Enduring Success.